himpilan sa sugbo. Kay sa sugbo, bata ang sentro sa panerbisyo. Dasi sugbo. Good morning, Cebu. It is now 7 o'clock on this fine Monday morning, September 14, 2020. Welcome to another day full of learning here at our daily educational program, Iwag sa Kaugmao. This is Teacher Just, Broadcasting Live. From the DNHS Campus Radio. Today's daily educational dose of lessons will be for my grade 7 learners. I will be your teacher today for science. To my students, please get your modules. This time, let's see how much you can recall about scientific investigation. Please turn to the what I know part of your module and write your answer to the questions in your paper. I am giving you 3 minutes for that. Are you done? Let's check and see if you got the answers correctly. Number 1. The answer is letter D. Number 2. The answer is letter D. Number 3. The answer is letter C. Number 4. The answer is letter C. Number 5. The answer is letter C. Number 6. 
The answer is letter D. Number 7. The answer is letter D. Number 8. The answer is letter A. Number 9. The answer is letter C. Number 10. The answer is letter D. Number 11. The answer is letter D. Number 12. The answer is letter A. Number 13. The answer is letter C. Number 14. The answer is letter C. Number 15. The answer is letter D. I hope you all did well in that activity. Don't worry if you weren't able to get all the answers correctly. What matters is that you've done your best with your previous knowledge. Now, let's read the context found in Activity 1.1. Science is a way of thinking and a way of gathering knowledge about the world that is both accurate and reliable. It is the quest to understand and improve our knowledge of the world around us and how the things in it work or why they work the way they do. The scientific method is like the roadmap that you follow to get to that destination. It is the process by which science is carried out as in other areas of inquiry. Science through scientific method can build on previous knowledge and develop a more sophisticated understanding of its topics of study over time. When using scientific method to carry out your own investigation, the first thing you need to do is observe, then ask questions. Just look at all the things around you. Does something make you curious? Does something seem strange to you? Do you wonder what causes something or why something happens? Have you asked yourself, why is the sky blue? What makes Suda fizzy? The possibilities for observations and questions are endless. The next scientific method will involve you to test hypotheses. Hypothesis is an educated guess. It is a preliminary answer to the question you have asked that you will test to see if it seems to be true. Keep in mind that it does not matter whether your hypothesis is right or wrong. The next step is to test your hypothesis, wherein you will design and conduct an experiment. After your experiment, make sure to record the observations and data so you will be able to analyze the results. Finally, you need to draw conclusions. The main aim is to summarize the findings of your experiment and determine whether your hypothesis is accepted or rejected.
time check, it's 10 minutes past 7 in the morning. Did you understand the context? Now, please turn your mojo to the what is it part and answer the activity. Write your answer in a piece of paper. Please be reminded to not write anything on the mojo. Time check, it's 7.30 in the morning. This ends our educational program this morning. Thank you for tuning in. This is Teacher Just. Till tomorrow, same time, here in our program, Iwag Saka Ugmaong.